welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. The most wonderful time of year is quickly approaching Christmas. It is my absolute favorite holiday. Not only do I enjoy decorating, but I love holiday crafting more than anything. I get really inspired this time of year, as I'm sure many of you do as well. There's just so many beautiful things that you can create during the holidays. And one of the things that we're gonna make is a angel stocking. Um, I got inspired um, to create this beautiful stocking. It doesn't require um, a lot of materials and it's super easy to make and it's, she's just so, so beautiful. So I'm really excited to share um, on how to make it. And I will be sure to list all the supplies in the description below and with the links on where you can purchase certain things. Um, but before we get started, I would love to know what are some of your favorite holiday traditions. Um, I think this is kind of good for us to kind of connect. I like to connect with people that are new to my channel and my friends that have been following me and supporting me. Um, but I will, I will start first. So my favorite holiday tradition is um, every year, my children and I, but on Christmas Eve, we will get some hot cocoa, we'll, they'll grab their blankets, we'll um, get in the car, we'll put on some old-fashioned holiday music, and we drive around to the neighborhoods and we look at all the beautiful, magical lights. It's just something that every year my kids look forward to, and I think it just builds those wonderful holiday memories they'll have forever. So that's what we enjoy doing. So I would love to know um, at the end of the video, leave me a comment, let me know what is your favorite holiday tradition. So with this project, um, I, the angel herself, I have taken the angel, I've altered her a bit, I photoshopped her, um, she's in really soft, kind of shabby colors, and she will be available, down, you can download her for free, she'll be on my website, so you can use her for your stocking as well. So I'm really excited to get started, grab some cocoa, grab some hot tea, and let's have a holly jolly time making this stocking. Okay, I'm gonna share with you, these are the supplies um, needed for the project. Pretty much 90% of everything here came from Hobby Lobby. Um, and the bonus was they were 40 to 50% off. So they have pretty good sales, you just have to hit it right. But this stocking definitely came from Hobby Lobby. I wanted just a simple kind of white stocking that we could use. Um, and that way, I think I paid $7.50 for this. The inkjet fabric is what I use to print the angel, and I think I got those off of Amazon. I love the no seal tape. This stuff is awesome. It's double-sided tape, swear by it. And I have here some really great trims and embellishments. I, I really love using old flowers. This one, these are from a hat, but I love using old flowers. But if you don't have a big, a big supply of them, they make beautiful um, decorative flowers that you can get at Hobby Lobby or Michaels, and these were also on sale, and they're just they're just lovely. Um, I think I got these at Walmart, and they're like I don't know florets or something, but I thought you could cut them up and maybe use one or two. Um, and then let's see, I've got some really pretty ribbon. The, it's hard to see in the lighting, but it looks really pretty with the wings. So I picked some ribbon up and just some fluffy trim and some AB rhinestone, which I'm a sparkle girl, so I love my rhinestone. And we'll use this to trim on the, uh, the stocking as well. And this, if you wanna add a really pretty brooch, you can. I got this for 50% off at Hobby Lobby also. Love, love, love this glue. This is my favorite. Um, I always get the clear, and my favorite glitter is the Ultra Fine Transparent Crystal. This is my favorite. It's an iridescent, really sheen sparkle. Um, lace trim. And then I got these gemstones. Um, it's by Paper Studio. They were, it was $10, and then I got 50% off. And these are like this faux pearls, and they're already glued on the back. So I just took my scissors, and I just cut, and then you're ready to take it and then you're going to um, just paste it, just basically glue it down on the border so of your, of your um, image. But anyways, love this stuff, this is great, and it's simple. So overall, I mean, this is like a pretty, pretty easy, simple project. So um, let's go ahead and we'll get started. 
I would first like to show you the comparison between just regular inkjet paper versus the um, fabric paper. What's really nice is the regular inkjet paper is more saturated, but when you print it on the fabric, it's really, really soft and muted, which is lovely. First, we're going to remove the jingle bells from the stocking. You're more than welcome to leave them. I just chose to take them off. Next, I'm going to add the lace. I purchased these from Michaels, um, but I do have a pretty stash, and if you have your own stash of lace that you love, by all means, use those. Next step, we're going to go ahead and cut out our angel. She's attached to a very thin piece of paper. So it'll, it's a little challenging, but you just gently peel back the fabric from the paper. It took me a little bit to get it, but um, you just gently peel it. And then once you've gotten her the, the paper removed, then you'll go ahead and use an adhesive to um, glue her down. I chose to use Sela tape because it's like my go-to, but if you have fabric tack, or if you want to use hot glue, you can. I just enjoy using the Sela. I just find it less messy. It is a little sticky, <laughs> but um, I just find it great to work with. So I'll just peel back and we'll get ready to place her in the middle of our stocking. Now that she is on the stocking and she's nice and flat and glued, we will go ahead and cut out our pearl strips. And that's going to be perfect to cover up the edges of the angel. You're welcome to use any type of trim that you have. If you have ribbon, rickrack, whatever you wish. I just love pearls. I think pearls just look elegant. And again, it, this is so easy to work with because it's already sticky. It's got glue on it. And I just firm, firmly push down and it does the job and it just looks super pretty. Now we are ready to apply our lace trim and our rhinestone to the stocking. And I'm just using Quick Grip. It's like my go-to glue and it dries pretty quickly, but you can also use hot glue as well. I'm going to add a little bit of white crystal glitter to her wings and her dress. Now for the fun part, adding all the pretty embellishments. I always like to step back and place everything out so I can look at the colors, um, I can look at the sizes and just kind of assess everything of where I want to place it before I start gluing it down. So it's just kind of nice to have everything laid out and have everything that you want to use and place on your stocking before you start gluing everything. Okay, my elves, it's time to start decorating those stockings, gluing everything on there. I always like to start at the top, work my way down, and just build from there. Again, use whatever you have. If you have vintage Christmas ornaments, flowers, uh, trims, you name it, decorate it to however you wish and desire.
Here I'm going to start adding a few of these gold star brads to the scarf of her dress. There's already little bitty gold stars and I thought if I added a few that would be a nice 3D effect. Now that our beautiful angel stocking is finished, she's decorated, I like to go ahead and fill the stocking with some tissue paper. That just fills it out really nicely, makes it uh, full, and after that we'll be ready to hang it on the mantle. Or if you want to use like a satin hanger, you can hang it from that and hang it on a doorway or an armoire. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful angel stocking. Please let me know if you have any questions. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that little bell and it'll notify you when I have another video. So next time I'm going to be sharing with you my holiday home. I'm gonna do a little tour. I'm gonna to share some of my holiday decorating. So I can't wait to share that with you. And thank you again for visiting me. It means so much and I really appreciate your support. Till then, happy creating and I'll see you next time.